Jordy Lomax's humble roots began in St. Louis, Missouri. The oldest of seven children, he often had the responsibility of caring for his siblings while his parents were trying to put food on the table. Yeah, I mean, times were tough. You know, mom's turning tricks at the local warehouse and dad's working around the clock. Jordy's father, John, worked a thankless job in the local trumpet factory. He was literally married to his job. I mean, he was married to my mom too, but she was mostly married to other men's penises. Jordy loved visiting his father at work as this is where he was first introduced to the sweet sounds of his favorite instrument. Man, it was like the voice of Jesus Christ himself calling me from the heavens. That's when I knew I was gonna be the best. The Lomax family was too poor to buy a trumpet for Jordy, but this would not keep him from his dream. You know, I guess making trumpets isn't very lucrative, but one night I was you know, pleasuring my girlfriend you know, with my mouth. <laughs> and this glorious sound started to come out. And there's definitely an art to it. Not everyone has the chops to be the mouth trumpeteer. It's countless hours of work and practice and long sleepless nights to hit that perfect note. Jordy Lomax has since toured the world, exciting fans in over 100 countries, and has had 12 number one hits on the contemporary pop charts. Oh yeah, I could demonstrate for you, but doesn't mean you're gonna pick it up right away, brah. First you gotta, you know, kinda hum to yourself. Ha, ha, ha. Then you gotta get the money makers involved. That little ditty brought tears to their eyes in Cleveland. Jordy Lomax, a true pioneer. I'm Casey Kasem.